felt like it was hours, but it was minutes. That's so, what I like, mean. With her, I can't even imagine. That is so awesome to see. Just crawling right over the other one. Like it's not even there. Hello everybody from the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of North Georgia. It's the week of the 4th of July and I wish I could tell you guys that we just got up here but we have been here all day and I'm just now getting to herp. We had a really unfortunate start to the day where we uh, ended up in the right place at the right time to help someone who had uh, fallen and injured themselves on a waterfall. Very, very bad news, but we were able to get medical attention to her as fast as possible and hopefully she will be all right. But we're just now able to get out into the field and do a little bit of herping. So we're going to be working this creek to kind of start off the trip. And then in the morning, we're gonna get up and go look for rattlesnakes. Let's get into it and see what we can turn up. Well, there is our first salamander of the day. I hope you can hear me all right. But that is a black-bellied salamander. We've definitely seen them before, but it has been a while. These are a very, very big desmog, the biggest we have. We picked up these little trout nets from Walmart because the desmog we're looking for today is a lot more aquatic than these guys. But this species is pretty easily identified because they have those white spots down the side, a black belly, and they're way bigger than most other desmogs. So the big salamander we're looking for today is a species I have not seen in Georgia in its adult form yet. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going around in this pretty fast flowing creek and dip netting in the uh, fast flowing sections of water. Because this is a species of dusky salamander that is pretty much fully aquatic. So we're gonna have to put this little trout net that I bought at Walmart to use and uh, hopefully we'll be able to scoop one of these guys up. So this is not what I was looking for, but it is pretty cool. I believe that is a baby trout. I don't know what species of trout that is, if it's stocked or what, but pretty cool to see. We'll put him back into the creek. I got one. Oh, look at him. No, 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 no escaping. Look at that. Holy cow. That is so cool. That is my first Georgia shovel nose salamander. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my God, he's so good at climbing. That's probably the most excited I've ever been about a Desmog. All right, I'm gonna get the video light out in a second, but it is getting dark on me. You can see this guy looks just ever so slightly different from the black bellies we've been finding. And uh, they are closely related. They are very superficially similar and they inhabit the same creeks. There are lots of black bellies in here and I have just now found a shovel nose salamander. I was not entirely sure that they would be in this creek, but I knew they'd been documented in this county. So after looking for the right habitat, it was really rewarding to finally have this guy pop up in my net. I actually caught a trout before I found any kind of salamander doing this. So really, really need to actually get one. And uh, it's not very often I find a new species in the state of Georgia for me. And these guys were actually recently split into a couple of different species, so I'll have to double check and see which shovel nose salamander this is. It could even be a lifer for me. So really, really nice. I'm gonna take some photos of this guy and we'll let him go. So I think this one is actually a dwarf black-bellied salamander. I'm pretty sure we're in range, but it's definitely not a shovel nose. And you can see side by side, exactly how weird looking shovel nose salamanders really are compared to their closest relatives in these same creeks. Very, very cool comparison. It is just so much fun walking around these creeks at night and looking at all the black bellied salamanders sticking out of their holes. These guys are just gigantic. It's crazy how big they can get, like upwards of like 10 inches long. And they just sit there in ambush, hanging out of their crevice, waiting for something to walk by. And when something does walk by, they jump out and grab it. I might actually try to like find some worms and maybe try to feed one of these guys in a little bit if I can find a worm. But really, it's just cool seeing them just sitting like this, sticking out of their hole. Well, here's something pretty neat. Dad came down to the creek and was shining around and spotted this northern water snake. This is actually a different subspecies than most of the uh, the water snakes we see on the channel. And uh, you can tell he looks quite a bit different, not nearly as vibrant. And if we flip him over, you can see that the belly is not as vibrant either. It's very muted, very dull. But nice to see a snake. I'm sure we'll see more of some kind tomorrow. So we'll just let him go back into the creek and probably call it a night. So we're grilling steaks right now and I was coming down to the creek to wash this uh, spatula. 
And there's a ringneck just chilling on this tree. Second snake of the day. Look at that. There's a seal salamander sticking out. You can see his nice speckling. First one of those we've seen today. This is a new one for the year. This is an Okoe salamander. Very tiny little species of Desmognathus, but they do tend to be pretty. They have a lot more pattern than uh, a lot of the other Desmogs do. Sometimes they'll be pretty colorful too. But it looks like he's just foraging in and out of this moss, so we will uh, leave him to his business. Good looking little salamander. All the Chattahoochee slimies out here are missing their tails. Really weird. Good looking mander though. A lot less flecking than we see in the uh, northern slimies around home. That is cool. There's a slug eating this snake shed. Probably a northern water snake shed if I had to guess. Keeled scales. I guess it could be a garter or a queen. But it is neat to see the snail munching on it like that. That's shining over there. I was looking at this branch here. And there's a black belly. Whoa! Alright, this is going to be the last herp of the night, but uh, Chattahoochee Slimy Salamander way up a tree. We'll see you guys in the morning for some rattlesnakes, hopefully. Good morning everyone, it's bright and early. The creek sounds beautiful today. We're gonna whip up some breakfast and go hit the trail and see what we can find. Looks like we're definitely gonna have a much rainier day than I was expecting. But it should be good, it's midsummer, it's nice and warm. And uh, hopefully the snakes will be basking, trying to warm up after a pretty wet overnight. Well, dad just flipped our first snake of the day and our first baby snake of the year. Look at that. That's a little newborn garter snake already and it's just now July. I don't think there's any way this thing was born last year because of how small he is. But uh, garter snakes are definitely one of the first snakes to come out of hibernation each year, which means they're one of the first snakes to breed. So this guy could be a couple weeks old at this point, but nice to be on the board. We'll put that little guy back under his rock. All right, and on this little island of vegetation right here, we have our first copperhead of the day doing exactly what I was hoping they would be doing in this rainy weather, sitting as exposed and open as they can to try to dry off. Hopefully that's a good sign. It's so cool how much more relaxed copperheads are when we find them during the daytime. Like I'm, I would never get this close to one at night. But there he is, just chilling. We'll leave him to his business and maybe check up on him in a little bit. There is our first timber rattlesnake of the day, sharing a crack with a water snake, if you can believe that. Hopefully the snake will come a little bit further out as it warms up, but. That's probably as good of a look as we're going to get right now. So you can see how uh, spaced apart her scales are. That is definitely a gravid female rattlesnake. And hopefully we can come back and see her with babies in the fall if we're not gone when she has them. So there's actually two garters sitting right here. That one is very gravid as well. And the other one took off up into the bush somewhere there. But look at how pretty that one is. There's yet another garter snake. That one's freshly shed and looking good on the crawl. What is that, five garters so far already? At least Something like that? Six. And right past that last garter, there's yet another one, another gravid female. Look at how fat that one is. There she goes. All right, well, it looks like she is not gonna coil up where I was hoping she was and she has stopped right here in the sun. Well, that is a beautiful snake. Look at that. Gorgeous. There's actually another one coming out from under this rock. Look at that. We're gonna try to leave that one and hope he comes out. But look at that one. Gorgeous. So look at this, we've got this one here, we've got the one up under the rock, and then there's at least two more right there. Look at that. This lighting could not be much worse. Um, but yeah, rattlesnake, rattlesnake, 
rattlesnake number three, and then number four is up under that rock. That's actually five total, because we saw the other one. We're just gonna let her go where she wants and watch. Look at this, this one right here is so nice. <laughs> They're all just following each other. There she goes. These are all gravid females. So cool to see. That one was a little skittish, but these two seem to be chilling. Uh, I think it's probably because they have cover around them and they weren't just crawling across the open rock. They know they're more camouflaged sitting around these briars and in the leaf litter. Fantastic though. What a, what a trip we've had already. And it's just like mid morning at this point. We have the rest of the day ahead of us. I am a sucker for these darker timbers. That thing is incredible. This one's a little more yellowy. Also a really good looking snake. Oh, where's she going? Gonna go coil up for a nice photo. That is so awesome to see. Just crawling right over the other one. Like it's not even there. That one looks like it's trying to find a spot to coil up. It's kind of going off in the direction that other one did. That one is just chilling. That's definitely the nicest one, I think. It's my favorite for sure. There is yet another garter snake, just chilling. We left those timbers alone and we're gonna circle back and check up on them again in a little bit. That's a nice looking American toad. Very red. She's out and she is a dime. Oh my goodness. That is so awesome. This is the snake we saw earlier, the first timber of the day that was, was coiled up in that crack right there. And she has come out to bask. That is definitely the nicest of the day, I think. What a sweetheart. Just just sitting here. She, she scrunched up a little bit and tongue flicked for a second, but I think she's relaxing now. She knows we're not gonna hurt her, hopefully. But, uh. We don't want her to uh, become any more stressed out than she already has from us looking at her, so we're gonna back off. But that is just such a beautiful snake. Look at the white highlights. So many different subtle colors on this individual. It's just incredible. I've needed a, uh, a good timber day, and we have definitely had one. We're gonna circle back and check up on the others because this was the first one we found, and uh, then we'll probably call it a day with the rattlesnakes and go do a little bit more creek walking when it gets hot. Look at where the sun is coming through. You can see that color is just incredible. Holy cow. I could sit here and look at this one all day. I say that all the time about timbers, but it's definitely true. I mean, I love these snakes more than just about anything. So 
I'm gonna give her space and go check up on those other snakes and then probably leave. And what a treat to get to see her out in the open after only seeing a little bit of her back in that crack. That is incredible. Look at this yellow jacket just like chewing on this garter snake shed. This wasn't here earlier, so this is a new snake shed. But the yellow jacket certainly seems to like it. There's a uh, there's a big garter right here. I don't, I don't think that's where that shed came from because that snake doesn't look freshly shed. But uh, yet another garter snake. I think that's a different one than the ones we saw earlier. There's a copperhead out right there all of a sudden that wasn't there earlier. Garter. Copperhead. Pretty good look at that one. Not nearly as many copperheads today as I was expecting. We saw this one up under this rock earlier, but it has now come out to bask. So there was yet another garter right there, but right here is another copperhead. Very well tucked in. Oh look, yet another garter snake. Definitely another new one too, because the one we saw in this area earlier was fresh shed, and that one looks gravid. And there, there was a gravid one right here actually. And uh, I do not see that one now. Okay, so I think this is the garter, the gravid garter we saw earlier. She's tucked in well though, can't see her as well. Look at this little turd. That's definitely last year's baby garter. It's a little bit bigger than that other one we saw, but that one could have been a runt from last year, I guess. He's a pretty little guy. So this is where we saw the, uh, the four timbers that came, the four timbers that were right next to each other. I see the one I think that was coming out from under the rock that we didn't get a good look at, but right here is a couple of copperheads coiled up with a garter. You can see the garter on the right there, and I think that's at least three copperheads. So I, I only saw the one timber initially, which is, is this one here. But if you look back there, there's three more. Oh my god. This is insane. <laughs> that is so sick. I really, I don't even have words for that. Four beautiful timber rattlesnakes. All just chilling. All just chilling right there. All right, we are uh, gonna give these ladies their space. That is seriously one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Just four perfect, immaculate, stunning timber rattlesnakes. Just chilling right next to each other. Absolutely unreal. These, I'm pretty sure these are all the same snakes we saw first thing this morning, but they're now settled into where they're gonna bask and they're just chilling. That is incredible. I also don't remember seeing the shed here earlier, and now there's a big timber shed right there. Well, that's something you don't see very often. A snake that's actively shedding. A garter snake right here, just halfway through its shed. That is really cool. I don't know if she's frozen because she sees us and is, uh, is kind of like shed shy right now, doesn't want to shed in front of us, or... Or if she's just chilling like that, but it's kind of weird either way. I wanted to try to get a video of her coming out of it, but she just seems to be content to sit right there. Definitely neat, though. That's got to be like our 15th garter snake of the day. Including the ones that we didn't get video of because they just disappeared. All right, y'all, well, we're heading back to the car. It was a fantastic morning, but the sun is out now and it's definitely getting a little toasty. So we're going to head and get some lunch and then maybe do a little bit more creek walking and even some snorkeling potentially. So we'll see what we can get into. All right, y'all. Well, we spent the remainder of the day checking out a pretty large creek that uh, I've seen hellbenders in before. And we actually bought some snorkels at Walmart, which was our first mistake, but they ended up not being that great. They just fogged up constantly and we weren't able to see very well, but I did see a hellbender and, uh, Although we weren't able to get any video of it, it was fun snorkeling with Caitlin and my dad. And we saw tons of really cool fish and stuff too, but I didn't get much video because all of my camera equipment was in my backpack. 
but it was a good time and a great way to end the day. We're probably going to start making our way home at this point. Uh, we might do a little bit of road cruising, but if we don't see anything, I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic trip to the mountains, and uh, there's going to be plenty more of this type of stuff coming your way soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you.